Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And I'm so pumped, so excited today, this is cool. Because we're talking about this month, protecting your gear. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the best DIY method that I have found to protect your lights and gear. Ready? Let's dive in. So what we talked about in our last video was we talked about bags and soft cases, stuff like that. And for a lot of people that have, you know, light use on your gear, those will work great. But the downsides to the bag and soft cases are that uh, you really can't stack stuff up a bunch, especially in soft cases, because the stuff on the bottom will really get crushed and, and ultimately damaged. Um, you know, it works if you're putting a few things in your trunk and you're carrying it into the gig or using a small cart, that works great. But there's a point when you need to take it to the next level where you're not ready for road cases yet because road cases are heavy. So if you have to ever do stairs in your gigs, that's a bad idea. Um, honestly, small gigs with stairs, a lot of the times I'll, I'll pull stuff out of road cases in the truck, right, and carry it in uh, if I can get close. Um, so if you're not rolling into your truck or trailer and then rolling into a venue without stairs, road cases are typically not the best idea. Uh, sure, they're heavy duty and they'll protect your stuff really well, but they're heavy. And if that's more than you need, then it's going to be a big expense too because road cases aren't cheap, right? Okay, so what's in the middle? What is the solution that works for the common man, the, the person who is doing some gigging? And, you know, maybe playing in a band, playing local venues, maybe it's a church and you set things up on retreats, maybe it's a DJ and you're doing small to mid-sized DJ gigs, right? Um, what do you do? This is the best DIY solution that I have found, okay? And it involves two things. The first is your fixture's packaging, okay? So you bought your fixture and it probably came in a cardboard box. And some people, as you well know, maybe you've tried this, will take the cardboard box to every gig right? And after like five gigs, you know, that cardboard box is falling apart, right? Because it's designed to take the, the fixture and get it to you. And then if you buy, say you buy 10 fixtures, keep a box or two. This is a good tip. Uh, so if you ever need to do a warranty return, you're not smacking yourself in the head trying to pack the thing up safely, right? But, but then you break the boxes down, you recycle them, you toss out the packaging, whatever, you're done, right? No, don't do that. Okay, why not? because you can make a really inexpensive road case. And this is kind of inspired by the fancy road cases uh, without spending money, okay? So the second piece of this is those yellow lidded plastic bins from the hardware store. Uh, to represent those, because I didn't have one close today, I've got an Apple box, okay? But same concept, just a bin that fits one or multiple of your fixtures in it and their packaging. Let's talk about it. So I've got my bin right here. We'll hop over there. And I've got a fixture here, Gamma Nano Beam. And I've got my packaging from said fixture. Okay. And this is really just as simple. Drop the packaging in the bin. Fixture in. Other packaging. Now this already, just this as it is, is is already like a lot more protective than uh, a bag is, okay? And this phone, though it's cheap, if you take care of it, it will last a pretty long time if you're careful not, not to rip it and stuff. Of course, every fixture, you know, has different material in there. But let's take a look if you don't have this phone or if you need to fill out the rest of the box, what do you do? Right, because right now it's in this yellow lidded box to put the lid on and the fixture still going like this as you move it, it might fall over. It's not really getting protected. What do you do? Okay, well you get a couple options. One, I mean you could literally just take like DMX cables and mic cables and stuff and just stuff it in there and fill out the space. But also, foam. So this is literally just foam uh, you know, you can get sheets of foam, and this is uh, literally that acoustical panel stuff. I'm um, not real acoustical panels, but like anti-reflection panels. And you can literally just take this and just slide this in the side, right? Um, I think I got enough pieces to fit in the side there. And you can cut it down, 
Um, any fine tooth knife will work great for cutting these down. I typically use a hacksaw with a metal blade on it, a blade for cutting metal because they have really fine serrated teeth um, and they'll slice right through it. So you can cut that down to the right size, fit that in there. Okay, now you get to the gig. It's really just as simple as pulling this out, grab the fixture, put this back. End of gig, pull this out, drop in the fixture, maybe multiple fixtures depending on the size of your box and fixtures. Done. Okay, if this foam dies, then you can take sheets of foam like the standard, uh, the knot, not these ones that have the ripples in of the egg crate, but just the standard, you know, one inch, two inch sheets, and you can stack them, okay, and cut out the shape of the fixture. Again, same kind of knife for, for shapes, like rounded stuff. You can use like a serrated um, electric bread knife sometimes, or uh, same blade, that metal blade for a hacksaw but you can take the blade out of the saw, so it's just the blade, and you can make some decent curves with it. Uh, pick and pluck foam is another option, just Google it. Uh, it's foam that's in these little squares that are all kind of stuck together, and then you stick them together. They're okay, they fall apart over time. Um, but you can take those, build them up, glue them together. Uh, 3M, the uh, spray glue, works great. Uh, you want to get the nice industrial stuff, it has a black cap and like a reddish can. I forget exactly the number on it, um, but that stuff works great. And then you can literally just layer, you know, rows of cut foam so that you can literally sit the fixture in the foam all the way and then just put a flat piece on top, close the lid, your fixture's protected, put it on a hand cart, roll it into your trailer, whatever, you're moving quick. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, really, you know, using this method with using the fixture's packaging uh, inside of a plastic bin or something similar, is really gonna protect your gear a lot better. You can use these plastic bins for cables, fixtures, whatever. Uh, I just, when I use fixtures, I like to make sure I've got some foam around them because then as a gigging musician, you're really saving and you're really protecting your stuff well. And you're gonna get the most life out of it and you're not gonna accidentally, you know this happens, right? You're rolling in, you're carrying it or something, you trip and boom, you smack it. You know, uh, something, you know, something happens, it gets dropped by somebody helping you and just putting it just in this simple foam that was free, it was in the box, okay? Um, that will save you that headache if that happens. Keep your gear looking nice, protected, and happy, all right? So thank you so much for watching. If you're new to lighting, grab my free guide to begin with lighting over at learnstagelighting.com. It's customized to the type of lighting you do. And if you're looking to buy gear, hit the gear button anywhere on the site, learnstagelightinggear.com. We'll get you a personalized price and uh, we're able to get you pretty much anything you need. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you next week where we're going to talk about our next kind of case. Get ready. It'll be fun. See ya.